What is up guys, welcome to Revstep. So today I wanted to discuss the HPA transmission mount or the HPA dog bone uh, replacement. Um, I wanted to talk about a few points when it comes to it and I'm honestly going to compare it really to the, to the inserts or specifically at this point, uh, 034 Motorsports uh, insert, which it worked great for my stage one GTI, but at stage two, I started noticing wheel hop. So I started looking for upgrades and I kind of cross shot between HPA and um, Revo. They were very similar, except HPA replaced the stamped metal piece that connects the transmission to, uh, to the engine, I guess. I might not I might be, not be right on this one but I think that's what it does so I kept going back and forth HPA was a lot more expensive but I thought there's a reason why it would be that much more expensive so after a while after talking to people and kind of looking at the forums looking at what's going on and stuff like that I decided to go ahead and pull the trigger on the HPA mount so what are my impressions well first let's talk about installation Installation was very simple. Uh, when they, when you compare it to the 034 insert, the insert obviously was a, a lot easier. Uh, the only hard part installing the HPA mount was actually cutting the inside rubber of the OEM mount and uh, kind of using a saw to cut the plastic or the plastic exterior of the mount so that way it can be taken out. I tried using pliers, uh, it didn't work pliers just did not work whatsoever I mean they were able to move the mount out of its position about this much but that was it you know actuality I had to use a saw and actually cut the mount yes that destroys the OEM mount but honestly the OEM mount is pretty shitty um, so basically if we're comparing installation versus 034 uh, obviously the insert was a lot easier because you just had to remove the bolt put in the insert tighten the bolt but this wasn't as much harder. So after removing the OEM mount, everything just fell in place. The only thing you have to watch out for is the engine placement. And what I actually did is in my previous video, which I'll link in the description, I showed you guys how to kind of balance or not balance the engine, but how to put the engine into the right position to where you can use, uh, you can actually tighten that bolt or actually put in the bolt. But overall installation, I would say from one to 10, I would say it's probably a four and a half at the most. And that's kind of not being generous towards the mount. I would say it's more towards the four range. Next, let's talk about vibrations. Vibrations, I would say they were not changed whatsoever. The mount is very comfortable. Um, driving right now, I can't sense any vibrations or any difference even from the stock mount or the insert. The HPA does very well removing vibrations. The only difference I'll say between the 034 and the HPA is the insert had vibrations when the car is in park and I turn on the AC. On the other hand, the HPA would have vibrations when the car is in park and the AC is off, but the minute I turn the AC on, no vibrations. So it's, it's kind of interesting to see how both of them compare. One has vibrations, 034 has vibrations when the AC is on and HPA has vibrations when the AC is not on. Honestly, I would like the HPA better because AC is usually used a lot where I live. The summers are very hot, even fall is hot, spring is hot too. So it becomes, it gets very hot outside, so I use the AC quite often. But overall vibrations, I would say between the insert and the HPA mount are the same. If not better from the HPA mount. I believe the HPA mount has, is, it has more road manners, it feels better. Uh, when driving and I can't sense any vibrations. I've put about almost a thousand miles now on the on the HPA. Uh, let me see, probably about 600, 700 miles on the HPA right now. And it's been the same from the beginning to the end. So it didn't really soften up, but there was no vibration. So I can't really tell if it did or not. Um, but honestly, same thing with the 034. So on that, I'll say they're about even, but this, this mount performs better when it comes to putting more power down to the ground. Which leads me to the next topic, and that is performance. Um, performance is amazing. Recently I got a new map from 5150. My car is getting to the final stages of its E30 tune. And 
oh god, the car is making a lot of power. And with the 034 uh, insert, I don't think the car would have been able to put that power down. Right now, the HP mount performs very well. There's zero wheel hop in rain, like wet and dry conditions, zero hop, everything goes down to the ground, and it just feels great. If when when I'm driving regularly, like right now, and if I'm putting along in the parking lot, the car just doesn't feel like the engine is moving when it's switching gears from the DSG transmission. Also, another benefit is when the car was stuck, or even with the insert, when I would come to a complete stop and the car is downshifting, you would feel the second and third. I mean, the, you would feel the second and first shift. The, the car would kind of like stumble or whatever you want to call it and kind of lunge you forward. But with this, there's nothing like that. Uh, the only problem when it comes to performance would be driving in first gear around parking lots and put putting around in first gear. It's a lot harsher. So first gear is very sensitive in a parking lot. If you are giving it the gas and you just take your foot off the gas, it will kind of lunge you forward. But it's okay, I don't mind that because I don't really drive in first gear that much. So comparing to the 034, this is great. Downshifts are great. You can't, I'll show you here actually right now. Why not? So here's, I'm in fifth right now, driving very slow. So we'll go to fourth, we'll go third. See how smooth it shifts? And then we'll go to second. Can't even feel that. And then that upshifting again, same thing. So overall on performance, I'll give it a 10 out of 10. I mean, it does what it's supposed to do and it does it with a phenomenal job. It puts the power down, it makes shift smoother, and it just performs. With that, let's talk about the next topic, which is price, which I believe a lot of people are kind of concerned about the HP price because it's, it is very expensive when you compare it to the rest of the market inserts, the Revo mount, anything like that, it's a lot more pricier. But I believe from what you're getting, the price is worth it. I, I'm not sure, I can't speak about the Revo mount and how that puck would perform with the stock uh, stamped piece, but this, this piece that comes with the HPA mount is a lot lighter and it's a lot bulkier. And I don't know how they were able to achieve that. It's worth it. The price you pay for this mount, I don't think you need a replacement. Even if you go to the IS-38 stages or stage three, stage four, stage five, whatever stage you want to go to, I don't think you need a replacement. Sorry, this guy, I don't know if you guys can see him on the camera, is kind of on my butt. And I'm trying to talk and he's trying to pass me now. So anyway, back to the topic. The price is worth it for what you're getting out of this little piece and how far it can take you. It's well worth it. Don't let the price hold you back. It's a great product. And if I had to do it again, I would go with them again. They know what they're doing when it comes to this specific piece on our cars. And they've done a very, very good job with that. So, uh, that guy that was tailgating me, I showed him who the boss is off the line. So with that being said, I'm really happy with the purchase. I'm really happy going with the HP mount. It's a really good product from the quality of the actual item and the puck itself to the way it performs. It's a win-win situation. Uh, if they could lower their price a little bit, that would be great. But overall, it's a really good product. So I hope this video made you guys' decision when it comes to dog bone mounts or inserts a little bit clearer as to what route you want to go to or how you want to achieve that. But overall, I think this is a really good choice and it's way better than the inserts. So thank you guys for watching this video. Please give it a like. I really appreciate the likes. Please comment below what you guys think. Uh, what do you guys want to know more about the products that I install and review? Let me know. Thank you guys for watching again. Please subscribe, that really means a lot. We're close to 600, we're almost there. And I'll see you guys in the next video.